what's good everybody it's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson back at it again with another episode of the celebrity junk Melinda Gates is the ex-wife of Bill Gates and you know I really want to say this she is a talented woman okay she went to Duke University undergrad, received an MBA from Duke University also. Her father was an aerospace engineer. So she comes from a good family, all right? We're not gonna take that away from her. And her uh, upbringing and talent put her in the American elite before she even met Bill Gates, all right? And she met him in 1987. Uh, when they were dating. And I just want to say this. By the time she met Bill Gates in 1987, he was already the youngest billionaire ever in the history of the country. All right? He was worth a lot of money then. By the time they got married in 1994, he was worth $9.3 million. At that time, the richest American in the country. All right? So let's not get confused. Had it not be for Bill Gates, she would not be who she is. He did not need her. When he met her, he was already filthy rich. We got to talk about that because it's important. Okay. But now after the relationship has occurred and transpired, um, she is now trashing him a little bit, talking about the personal business. And I understand Bill Gates made some mistakes. Um, from what I understand, um, he was uh, allowed to have um, woman on the side. He also cheated on her with another lady who worked at Microsoft. And I mean, it, it, it makes sense. A, a guy like Bill Gates, very powerful, very rich and screwing his employees, which is always a bad thing. But what she said was she did nothing wrong in the relationship. There was nothing that she did wrong. She did everything right. And you know what? As a man, you know, we, we, we got to look at this for a reason. 27 years. There's nothing that everybody does right. Okay? Nothing. The only person on record, allegedly, that has never done anything wrong is Jesus Christ. Okay? He's the only person that has never done anything wrong. But for you, Miss Melinda Gates, surely you're, you're unlike that, right? Because, you know, you can tell your sad story. Sad music, Felix. Oh my God. I couldn't trust what we had. I mean, it was just too bad. You know, I'm just kind of paraphrasing what she said here. But the reality is, is that you're saying when it came to Bill Gates, what the problem was is that you didn't like the fact that he had a relationship with Jeffrey Epstein. And that was the reasons why you wanted to divorce him. You know, um, when you saw him, you regretted he was abhorred. He was evil personified. You had nightmares. I mean, which is, I believe is all lies. You know, Jeffrey Epstein, obviously, he he's terrible. But, you know, at the time, you didn't care about that. All right? And so now you're going to say that's the reason why you want to divorce him. If that's the truth, give him back his money. If that's the reason why, right? You're worth $6.2 billion through no efforts of your own. You're, you're rich because you, you, you married one of the greatest innovators in the history of the world, Microsoft. It's like marrying Steve Jobs. That's why you're rich, okay? On your own, you probably would've become a, a top level CEO. You might make a million, $2 million a year. That's it. You're worth $6.2 billion because of Bill Gates. Now what you're saying is you wanna get out there and have another relationship. You wanna get out there and, and, and test the waters. Guess what you're gonna do? You'll be paying for it. Nobody's gonna be beating down Melinda Gates door. You know, like I want to date you because I love you. Cause you know, oh, you know, you're just a, such a beautiful woman and all this other stuff. If you think cheating is bad now and cheating is bad, but hey, have some respect for the guy that changed your life. Nobody's perfect, but was there situations that if he told his side of the story about you, that he has some issues about you that he didn't like? Yeah, but see, the thing about it is he's manly enough not to go and talk about it because you gotta somehow be victimized as a woman. Forget the fact that what you have now is because of him. 
You had no control in the tr- in, in the accumulation of any of his wealth. He would have been very well off if he'd never met you. But let's tr- let, let, let's trash the guy in the public. The man who's provided for you and given you all that you have so much so that you get to hang out with presidents in France like Macron. Now you're not donated to the, to the, to, um, to the Bill Gates Foundation anymore. You want to uh, take the philanthropy of money that's not yours. You didn't work for it. You, you didn't earn it. Because again, I hate to say it, he was already worth a billion bucks when you met the guy in 1987. You worked for him. And people got to start having a little bit more respect for folks who've done great things in your life. And I see this a lot of times with a lot of these American ladies now. Let's go ahead and trash the guy who's, if if it wasn't for him, you'd be living somewhere else. You would have lived a a, a very average life with some some guy. Maybe he made a quarter of a million dollars a year. You would have never experienced what you have now. I'm not saying that men are perfect because cheating is wrong. But to get out here and throw him publicly under the bus right now, oh, well, we have a working relationship and... I, I, I wouldn't say that we're friends. I, I probably think he doesn't even give a damn about you. Really, I don't. You know, and I will tell guys this all the time. You get married and you spend all this time with somebody. You have problems. They have problems. Life's perfect. Here's the thanks that some guys get. Like, what? Like why is it so necessary that you need to go out here and talk about certain things about the guy? The guy never talks about you. What do you want now? A book deal? You want to fall in love and date again? Mrs. I do nothing wrong? In 27 years, you've done nothing wrong? Okay. So what guy wants to sign up for that accountability? I'll tell you who. A broke guy. Okay. Because your days of meeting billionaires, those days are over now. All right. Look at how you act. Like for every rich guy in America right now, that's really worth something and doesn't want you for your money. Look at what he's looking at right now. Look how you're carrying out. Okay. If I deal with her, she going to tell my business. You know what? I'm good. Uh, I'm straight. 57 years old and there's nothing that she did wrong in the relationship she was a complete great wife for 27 years you did everything right this is why a lot of guys are not getting married all right because this is the thanks you get after you provide after you bust your bubble for all this time you get this sort of you know entitlement and all this other stuff and i'm not saying he's perfect because he's not but have at least enough respect for the guy who you spent 27 years with to not go out here and publicly try to humiliate him after all he's done for you. He changed your life. All right. If you didn't meet him, you would have met somebody who had nothing in comparison to him. You are lucky. Okay. And I know billionaires can be assholes, but give the guy some credit. But guys, what do you think? It's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson back at it again. With another episode of the celebrity junk or which is your fault that you do subscribe at the bell check out the first company to top and as you know the buffoon remains at all-time high i'm out